do you do, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Ellen Drew. And I want you to meet my co-star in our play, Mr. Richard Egan. Hello, Ellen. How do you do? We join in welcoming you to another performance of the Playhouse. This is a story of a man and a woman and a shooting gallery. It's a typical commonplace shooting gallery right in the middle of the bright lights and the tinsel of an amusement park. It may seem a gaudy way to make a living, but it's steady and solid. I was very content with it until one night a customer came along who didn't seem satisfied with the variety of targets available. He wanted to add another one. I'm pretty good with a gun. Marty. Hello, Vi. Been looking for you. It's loaded? How did... This will hand you a lamp. I get out in good behavior. It's fine, Marty. Quite a place you got here. It's not much, but it... It's an honest living, though. Have I? How's your husband? Sam's okay. Good old Sam. You're happy with him, I'll bet. Not like it was with me. Marty, what do you want? Same thing I've wanted for the past seven years. Let's see now. What do I get if I knock down the ducks back there? Marty, go away. You'll only get into trouble if you stay here. What's past is all over. So you and Sam are living happily ever after, huh? Sam's been sick. That's why I've taken over tonight. How's my son? Donnie's fine. He's in the fourth grade now, and he's grown so... Yeah, I bet he has. Grown so his own father wouldn't know. Marty, if you came to see Donnie... Ah, uh -uh, just you. A long time since I've done any of this. Need a little practice. Why should I start by? Marty, it's closing time. Suppose you just stick the cards up back there. Isn't that the way you do it? Yes. That's it. I'll start with the cards. You better stand back by while I practice. Aces. All aces. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. Two. I'll take two. Call. Three ladies. Not good enough. Aces. Shuffle them up, Marty. It's your deal. Hello, oh, Dad. Hi. See, there's a lot of traffic out there. I was beginning to worry. I got stuck over near the other side of town. I was waiting to see if I could pick up a fare to bring back. Supper's ready whenever you are. Oh, there's no hurry. Sit down for a minute. I'm beat. You have a hard day? I so so. What's this you're making? More stuff for the baby? Mm hmm. You like it? He's going to be the best dressed kid in town. Or she. Boy. How many times do I have to tell you he's going to be a boy? All right, Marty. A boy it is. Well, you said it. I'd bet my bottom dollar. I was afraid maybe you had. Hmm? When you were so late. Well, I told you that I wasn't the other side of town. Marty, how much? You know, it was a real rugged day. People don't take cabs anymore. They're all walking. Every day I see hundreds of people walking for miles. And you know what I think? The more they can't afford to take taxis, the more they walk. And the more they walk, the healthier they get, so they don't mind walking so much. So how much did you lose in the game? Fifteen bucks. But I'll get it back. Fifteen? Well, that's an awful lot, Marty. I know. baby coming. I know. Look, we're going to have a big future together. I haven't figured out exactly how yet, but I will. I will. All right, Marty. Let's have our supper while it's still hot. Oh, boy. After supper, I have to go out for a little while. Oh, Marty, no. You've lost enough. You just have to stop gambling. All right, hon, I will. I promise I will. 
As soon as I get the 15 bucks back, is it a deal? No, no deal. I want you to stop gambling. I mean, this is the last time. You know me, I can do anything I set my mind to. Hmm? Okay. You win. Ten out of ten. Guess I haven't lost my touch. No, you haven't lost your touch, Marty. You know, I like this place. Not exactly classy, but I like it. Sam's worked hard for you, I suppose. Marty, you proved you're a good shot now. What's your rush? I haven't proved anything yet, but I will. Let's try the pipes back there. Hit the targets, mister. I said set up the pipes. Now watch this fire. Keep your eye on the gun. Marty, I thought I heard you come in. Who's here? Whose pipe is this? Oh, just Sam's. Is something wrong, Marty? Hello, Marty. How's the boy? Oh, hi, Sam. How are you? Would you like some coffee? No. Marty, something is wrong. Yeah, what are you walking the floor for? Has anyone been here? Been here? I know. Are you expecting someone? Oh, gosh. Honey, what is it? Why, we got to raise some money. Money for what? Marty, if you need a 10 spot. I need 30 10 spots. 30? That's $300. Don't I know it. Gambling. Yeah, I got in kind of deep. You owe three hundred dollars to gamblers. We can't pay that. Much. We gotta pay it and fast. These guys mean business. Well, what do we do? Maybe uh, I've got about that much in the bank. Sam, on the level. Yes, you might as well use it. You hear that, honey? Sam, we can't let you do that. You were saving to buy a cab. Forget it. I'll send you a check in the morning, Marty. Gee, thanks, Sam. I guess you know you're saving my life, and I'm not sure I'm kidding. I said forget it. Oh. Sam, I don't know how to thank you, but I promise we'll pay it back as soon as I we... know you will, Vi. Don't worry about it. I'll be seeing you, Marty. Sure thing. Goodbye, Sam. Whew, was that a close one? Funny, when I walked in here, I didn't have a prayer of getting that money. Hey, all of a sudden, I feel like celebrating. Go put on that pink dress you saved for Sunday. We're going out for dinner. Oh, Marty, we can't. Well, sure we can. We'll leave the kid with old Lady Jacobs across the hall. But we can't afford it. Oh, 50 bucks says we can. Where did you get that? On the cutest little horse you ever saw. Then you only needed 250 from Sam. Well, he had 300, and we need a night out. Marty, you can't do that. Sam's the best friend we have in the world. Besides, he's been saving all year. Honey, I'll pay him back. Besides, he didn't offer that dough just to save my neck. You smile at him a few times and he'll be repaid. Sam will be repaid when he gets his money back. You think I haven't noticed the way he looks at you? Why he stops in here so often? He's crazy about you. Oh, you can't think that Sam... He's probably just waiting for a time to cut my throat. <sighs> Now, let's not waste any time talking about Sam. Go get dressed. Marty, Sam gave you that money all for... All right, he's a generous fellow. But don't get any ideas about him, that's all. You're my wife. And you're always going to be my wife. Always going to be. What? Oh. Nothing else, just remember. It's no good looking back, Marty. You're wrong there, Vi. I've been looking back for seven years thinking about you and Sam and Donnie. I have to close up here, Marty. You're not closing until I'm finished. I'm a long way from it. I'm still just practicing. But, Marty... But nothing. I've waited a long time for this. Don't rush me. What's that wheel business back there? Start it going around.
Well, what's wrong? It's, it's jammed. So start it. That's what I call a real talk. waiting for you. What time is it? It's after midnight. Listen to me. I'm leaving town. You what? I have to get away for a few days. What happened? I got no time to talk. Oh, Marty, what are you mixed up in now? It'll be all right. I'm in the clear. Tell me. These guys are pulling the job, and they needed someone to drive the car. What kind of a job? Gas station. Don't look at me that way. All I did was drive. One of the guys got nervous and winged the attendant. He's not dead, but I gotta lay low. You got a good look at him. Oh, Marty, how good you was got into it. Now, this is no time for preaching. Now, look, if the cop should come around... Oh, I wish I was dead. Snap out of it. I'll be back before you know it. All you gotta do is to keep your mouth shut and wait for me. Wait for him. That's what I said. You haven't got any other ideas, have you? I've never had that before. Now, look, honey, don't talk like that. This will blow over, and then we'll forget all about it. I huh? wonder. What does that mean? I don't know. I'm all mixed up. My whole world is upside down. I got no time. Look, here's some dough for you and Donnie. I'll be back when it's safe. But where? Will you write? No. I'll see you when I can. Marty, wait. Take care of yourself. Okay, okay. And when I come back, you and Donnie be here waiting. I'm waiting, Marty. Huh? I said, are you finished with the wheel? I'm waiting to turn it off. Oh. Yeah. Well, it's a perfect score. Now what? What else you got, Vi? Figure I might as well try everything once. You haven't changed much. That's right. Nothing ever changes me. I was always like that, remember? How about Donnie? Is he like his old man? Donnie's a swell kid, Marty. He is. He looks a lot like you. His eyes and... I bet Sam don't like that. Sam's been a real father to him. He treats Donnie as if he were his own son. But he's not. He's my son. You ought to be glad. I'm a regular Pollyanna, I am. Let's see. The ducks. I'll try the ducks. Who is it? Who is it? It's me, honey. Oh, you're, you're back. What kind of a greeting is that? Is everything all right, Marty? Well, sure, everything's okay. How's Donnie? Donnie's asleep. I was just going to get him his bath when he wakes up. What's this? Something new? Sam brought her. Oh, he did? I'll get him some better toys than that. He likes the duck. Marty, if you're sure you're all right and you're not in any trouble, I, I'd like to talk to you. Well, can it wait? I just no, got No, no, it can't wait. Please, sit down. What's the matter? The cops been here? No, no. Please, sit down, Marty. The minute they had me scared. Listen, Vi, I'd like to talk to you. How'd you like to go out west? No. You know, to California. There's a lot of things a guy can do out there. Donnie can go to school with the movie stars. Oh, stop it, stop it, will you? I want out. You what? I'm getting a divorce. Well, you don't know what you're talking about. I've thought it all out, Marty. All the time you were gone, I've been thinking. What kind of thinking is that? Our marriage is over. 
Ever since you started running with that gang of hoodlums, you, you've changed so I don't know you anymore. Oh, well, my feelings for you don't change. If you'd cared enough about Donnie and me, you wouldn't have been mixed up in that holdup. I don't know what's got into you. I'll tell you what's got into me. I want a good, safe life for my baby. Wait a minute. You don't think I'm going to let you leave me and take Donnie, do you? I'm afraid you don't have much choice, Marty. Well, you sound as if... Is this Sam's idea? Oh, Sam, no. You said he's been here. He brought Donnie this duck. Oh, yes, he did, but we didn't talk. Oh, Marty, you know better than that. Sam, huh? Where are you going? I'm going to pack. Donnie and I are leaving. I better not be your pal, Sam. Is your name Martin Hurst? Yeah. We're police officers. You're under arrest. For what? Armed robbery. Come on, let's go. Party. Goodbye, honey. Uh, this is all a mistake. I'm sorry, lady. Come on, Hurst, let's go. Wait, wait, I'll go, but I want to talk to my wife first. She can come down and talk to you later. Just a minute. Let go of my arm. Why? Why, I gotta go with them, but first... You didn't mean what you said, did you? Oh, Marty. Well, don't leave me, Vi. I can't lose you. I need you. Stand by me, will you? Please? All right, Marty. I'll stand by you. All right, Hurst, come on. Something wrong with a gun. Here, let me see. No, you don't. Marty, it's, it's getting late. It sure is. I have to go home pretty soon. You look nervous, fine. Awful nervous. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to say? Nothing. Except set me up another target. You've shot everything in a place. Not quite. There's one over there I missed. This is gonna be easy. My child's play. now in session. Have you arrived at a verdict? We have, Your Honor. Hand your verdict to the clerk. Read the verdict. We find the defendant, Martin Hurst, guilty as charged. <laughs> Will the defendant rise? Martin Hirsch, you've been tried and found guilty of the crime of armed robbery. I hereby sentence you under the laws of this state to a term of not less than one year or more than ten in the state penitentiary. More than ten years. I got out in seven. I was smart. That was smart, Marty. Yeah, you bet. You didn't expect to see me again, did you? Thought I was out of the way. Well, I'm back. I'm back, and you're going to be sorry as ever sent up. I always was. Oh, yeah, sure. You felt so bad about it. You were so lonely, you just had to marry Sam. What's that for? You won them. Well, isn't that great? Cigarettes. Even remember my brand? Of course. I guess you ought to. But I'll tell you something, Vi. I can't smoke that brand anymore. Not for the past seven years. Marty. Cigarettes, huh? Do you remember the last time you gave me cigarettes? Hello, Marty. Why? I brought you some things. Swell, thanks. How are you? Great. How are things on the outside? How's Donnie? Donnie's fine. You're looking good. Oh, sure. Nice, quiet life, plenty of rest. 
be surprised what six months in a place like this can do for you. Try not to be bitter, Marty. That's easy to say. Haven't brought some good news, have you? Did you find out something? No. I told you there wasn't much anybody can do for you until, well, until maybe a parole. That'll take years. I know, and I'm sorry. So am I. Marty, I have something to say to you. What is it? I'm going ahead with the divorce. What? I had hoped that you'd be free when I did it, but... So that's it. As soon as I get sent up, you run out. That's not fair. I told you I'd stand by you through the trial, and I did. I could just cry seeing you in this place. Don't take it so hard. That doesn't change the way I feel. Marty, I'm going to marry Sam. Sam, I knew it. He'll be good to Donnie and me. Is that the only reason you're going to marry him? No, it isn't. He's good. He's kind. And I love him for that. Okay. You've done all the talking. Now let me tell you something. I'll get you for this. Marty, don't talk like that. I don't know how long I'm gonna have to rot in this hole. But someday I'll get out. And when I do, I'll find you. Marty. You double-crosser. Go ahead and marry good old Sam. But don't make your plans too far ahead, because I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. That's enough, first. I'll kill you. I'll kill you, but the last thing I ever do, I'll find you and kill you. I told you I'd come back. I told you I'd find you. Did it make you feel any better shooting up everything in the gallery, Marty? What if it did? There are no more targets. There's nothing else to shoot. Except me. That's right. So if that's what you came here for, get it over with. Go on, Marty. Take good aim. I won't move. Keep talking. There's nothing else to talk about. Go on, Marty. Pull the trigger. Go on. Go on. Mom! Oh, Donnie, what are you doing here? You should be in bed. Oh, Mom. Sam said I could come down and walk you home. Gee, Mister, did you get everything? Yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all. Of course, I bet my dad could do better. Donnie. Is that right? Oh, sure. Mom always says that all Dad ever had to do was to make up his mind to something, and he could do it. This Sam must be quite a guy. Oh, I don't mean Sam. He's real great, but he's not my real father. I was talking about my dad. Your dad? Sure, Sam says he was just the greatest. And Sam and Mom, they both say I should grow up to be just like him. Donna, you seem to be talking a lot tonight. Donnie. You grew up to be like your mother here. And Sam. I guess that'll be good enough for anybody here. You said it. You better close up. Your boy's waiting. Yes. Oh. Here's something on what I owe Sam. Oh, you don't have to. It... Take it. I owe it to him. Good night. Hey, mister. Don't forget your cigarettes. Thanks, son.